If you have a website but it shows a not secure message in the browser, you need an SSL certificate to make it secure. That may cost you additional money on top of the domain and hosting price you already pay. Different providers charge eight, sixty, even one thousand dollars for the stupid SSL certificate. But in this video, I'll show you how we can easily, within literally three minutes, generate a free certificate and save this money for a new camera, a better microphone, or retirement account. First of all, before you do anything, otherwise that'll be a waste of time, just make sure that first you have the access to the admin panel of your website. Your hosting provider should give you such a possibility, because this is the place where we can paste our SSL certificates and do all other stuff with our website. Second thing, make sure you have credentials to access your website through FTP, because this will be the easiest way to transfer files to your website. All you need is a server name, login, and password. That you should be able to find in your admin panel. But if for some reason you don't have credentials for FTP, don't worry, you can also access your website system files even directly through WordPress, let's say. If your web page was built in WordPress, for example, then all you need is just to add a plugin file manager and you'll be able to see all your system files of the web page right inside the WordPress panel. But let's say you have access to the admin panel of your hosting provider and you have also credentials to connect to your website through FTP. What next? If you don't have any FTP client, I've included in the description one of the most popular free FTP clients, FileZilla. Go download and install it, we'll need it in just a moment. Now, the fair question is, what kind of certificate will be issued for our website? We will be issuing the most popular, free, absolutely safe certificate from Let's Encrypt, which is a well-known non-profit certificate authority. I've been using it for a long time without any issues. Then, to issue an SSL certificate, we would need CertBot, which is a totally free, open-source software tool that will make your web page secure using Let's Encrypt certificate. I've also included the link to this utility for Windows operating system in the description, so download, install it, and after that you'll be ready for the next steps. And the next step is the following. Go to the Start button and find the app Windows PowerShell. Right-click, choose the option Run as Administrator. Now type in the following command, certbot space cert only space dash a space manual space dash d space pavelsupanenka.com. Remember to input your website address. I've been putting mine because my SSL certificate expires in two days, so I just need to issue myself the new one then space double dash preferred dash challenges space http after hitting enter you'll see this additional information so let's leave it for a sec and go to our ftp filezilla program which will allow us to upload files to our website i have it in my favorites so let me run it and to connect to my website, I use my credentials, server name or host, username and password. And right away, I established a connection with my website. I can see the entire tree of some system folders uh, and WordPress configuration file, but we're interested in the folder .well known. If you don't have one, just simply create this folder by a right click, create directory. And when you create this folder, open it and create another directory under the name acme-challenge. And after doing it, open it and you'll probably see nothing in your folder, but I have here a few old records, which is fine, we're not going to touch anything here. We'll put into this folder the file that we'll create in a moment. So let's come back to our PowerShell window and locate the string where part of it we will use for the name of our, of our file. We need precisely the very first half of it, right before the dot. So copy it by hitting Ctrl-C combination on your keyboard and then let's go to the desktop to create the file. So create a new text document and in the title of it, input the part of the string you've just copied. 
A very important thing that you need to do is to remove the .txt extension from your file so that we have just this string in the title. Without that, it will not work. So you remove the .txt extension now like I do, or you also can do that afterwards when we'll update the content of the file, but I'll do it now just in case. Now open this text file in the notepad, go to your PowerShell window, and copy the entire string that we have there. So control C and we're back in our text file. Paste in there and save the file. So let's drag it to our opened FTP client and drop it right into the folder ACME-challenge that we've created a moment before. And in a matter of seconds, you'll have it there. Here's our newly added file. Now let's go back to our PowerShell window and finally hit enter. So after doing it, you'll see, or not, the message successfully received certificate with the exact location of your SSL keys on your computer and the expiration date. All we need to do now is to paste these two keys into the SSL directory of our website through the admin panel. So in my admin panel, without any troubles, I localize the module I am interested in. Here I see my website, the expiration date of the existing SSL certificate. So let me now change it. And to find the necessary keys to input, I follow the location that I received earlier in the PowerShell window. So certbot, live, and the domain I'm interested in. And here I have newly generated keys. I'm opening the private one first, copying it, and then pasting it into the private key area in the admin panel. The same I'll do with the full chain key. I'm copying it and pasting into the certificate section of the SSL module of my admin panel. So now hit save and we're done. Now, if I go to my website, which I haven't refreshed yet, and check the old key, I would see that the old one indeed is expiring in two days on 21st of April 2024. But if I refresh my website and check again the certificate, you'll see that now I have a brand new certificate, which is valid until July 18th. So yeah, that's the only drawback. I need to renew SSL every 90 days or three months. But to be honest, I've made it so many times already that it takes me a maximum of a few minutes. And by the way, I created a very detailed instruction with screenshots that you can download as a PDF file from my website totally for free. Link you'll find in the description. So go check it out and make your life a bit easier. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and see you in the next one. Cheers.